I got my mock-up done for the Generation 3 Henry head, and I'm making it out of plate. The first plate will be the chamber. The second plate will be the valve seats. And then I'll fill this channel for the cooling water to go through the length of the head. And then the exhaust will come in at an angle like this with the guides down through it. And then take an exhaust. And for the people that don't know, the reason that I'm doing this is the old straight eights had Siamese ports, but they only had four intakes for the eight cylinders which was real restrictive for the flow. Plus, when you put any kind of electronic port injection on it, you always had one cylinder robbing from the other. So that's why the individual ports uh, are, are making for the, the head. And this is where the push rods will go down through. These will be uh, welded in there. The head bolts will be down through there, and I'll put plugs in here. And then the rocker arm cover will go over the top of this. The original, the original Henry head was made out of a out of a Buick head, which I bored holes right down at an angle to the valve seat, and then I epoxied the, these these uh, pipes in there, which is a, a good flowing head. And we set uh, a lot of records with that head before the epoxy, epoxy started shaking out of it and it expired. So then I built the second Henry head, which was actually a modified split port, and it's over here. Now th this here is the uh, second generation Henry head I built, which cut the ports plumb out here, and then I inserted this split port in there. So I retained the original location of, of the head bolts. On the first uh, Henry head I built, I cut this all out and used a shorter stud, which made a nightmare for building exhaust on it. But this one here uh, worked real well. It, it flowed good, and we set a bunch of records with this in the XXO classes. This is the top piece. It's half inch. And it'll have the guides through it when I'm done. This is the middle piece, which will have the valve seats all in it. This is the bottom piece. I got all of the studs holes, holes drilled. To do that, I clamped it to that head over there and bored down through the uh, head bolt bores in the head so that they're perfectly lined up. And then I uh, transfer punched the uh, push rod holes with transfer punches down through here along there. And now I'm cutting those holes with a hole saw and that half inch pipe will fit in there which will be welded around that. And this will have the uh, chamber holes cut in it also at three and a half inch. Okay, this is a, the base plate and the second plate that I tacked them together so that I can get all the, the holes drilled exactly the same for the head bolts. And that is actually these two plates here for the push rod holes where these will come up to this second plate here. And then this plate here will have the valve seats in it and the, the bottom plate will have the chamber hole. With this design, I'll be able to get a lot better angle on the spark plug, too. Down right down through here. Get a more direct angle into the, the combustion chamber with the plug. Clamp to this plate first so that I could get, I bored down through these holes and done the bottom plate first. So you get them exactly the same as the Buick uh, bolt pattern.
Now the next step on this is to drill, to put this head on here and mark the valve centers with this head down through the guides and then drill those holes for the gut, for the uh, valve seats. And this 1018 uh, still will make a good valve seat. It'll uh, hold up real well, better than the cast iron originals. <laughs>